war never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Excuse me, Jimmy. Our government has bullies, too. Wow, really? That's right. Which is why we've developed the whiz bang new weapon so bullies around the world never bother us again. Well, Jimmy. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Good morning, vault calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. 
Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Alexander, Sean has been changed. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. Be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh... Trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate the vault vault level immediately. Who cares? Just help me pack it up! To get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold 
Gordon! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Vault Better future for you. underground. Just this All way, Chief. Yes, up this please way. No. Female and Good. Step over to the table. Take a seat. You'll need your suits before Welcome. we can take you further. Pick up a suit right over there. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. This Our home. Be. Everything we Sir? had. My mother and father down in D.C. How, oh how long do you think it? we'll be down here? I know this oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking the everyone off the list to be as they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Let the boy go. 
on, come on, come on. Oh, God! I'll find who did this. Then I'll get Sean back. I promise. Giant roaches? What the hell? What happened here? Where is everyone? Nice. Coming back later for you. Is this all that's left?
enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> 